How do you choose your roles now? What's the most important factor in making a decision? Being scared. Mm. Being scared if I can do it or not. Knowing that I have them somewhere in there, but they're not the most obvious parts of me. There's things I'm scared to explore. That kind of excites me, and the fear of failing pushes me really hard. So if I think that it's something that would be really easy and kind of, oh, well, I'd make a nice paycheck and blah, 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 I tend not to do it. I tend to do the things that go, oh, that makes me shake and makes my heart beat, and I don't know if I can do that, but I really want to prove to myself that I can. Yeah, same here. It is that rush of revealing something about yourself that maybe you don't even want to admit that you have in you. Whose work do you admire most? Who are your role models? Jenna Rowland. When I saw A Woman Under the Influence for the first time, I was just completely blown away that that kind of filmmaking existed and that sort of woman existed who was so raw and um, imperfect and huge. She has this huge, the performance is huge and at the same time minuscule. It's so subtle and so relatable and, and yet she goes to these big, these big feelings and these big, this huge voice and this huge presence on screen. She's just incredible. And so for me, she's the, she's the epitome of it. What are you proudest of over the course of the seasons? Um, we did a, an episode, I think our sixth episode this year, where my character went to prison and there was a strip search scene. You know when you read it, like a, the description of the scene, like she bends over, she's, her face is lined with humiliation, she breaks, everything that this moment has been leading up to pours out of her soul. And I'm just thinking, how the hell am I going to do that? And I just went to like the worst place that was like scary and miserable. And I thought in that moment, this better be worth it because I, like don't know if I'm going to be able to stand up after this. And bless his heart, James Ponsel, wonderful director, film director as well, um, just like kept coming over to me and he's like, are you sure you can do another one? Like, are you sure? And I was like, oh, I'm good, let's just go again. You know, like it's, you just get to that point where you're just like raw and then you're just like, wow, I'm a crazy person. I should have been an attorney. <laughs> I just should have been, I should have been a first grade teacher. What was the toughest experience you've had in your career and how did you get past it? the initial steps into LA and maintaining my sense of who, who I knew I was uh, or who I was at the time and not trying to fit into the mold of something else because I, I, put, I put that on my, that pressure on myself and had this idea of LA as, as okay, I better put on a blazer and I better, <laughs> you know what I mean? And not, and not going into meetings as myself and not going into auditions as myself, going in with an apology. And, and I, that, was, that was a really hard time and I didn't, I didn't work, I didn't book anything um, and everything felt very, uh, you know, antagonistic. But it was just my own, you know, view of, of the industry here and, um, you know, I had to get over that to just, just remember who I was and that, you know, I can walk into these rooms and be myself and whatever, if they don't, if they don't like that, then that's, right. then that's not what they want, you know, but, but that's all I, that's all I've got. What advice would you offer to an actor or an actress starting out now? Whew. Take every time somebody says no to you as your fuel. I can't tell you how many times I heard no. No, we don't want to see you. No, we don't want to audition you. People think this about you. You're too this, you're too that. You're not enough this, you're not enough that. And I just every time it was just like, just send me the sides, I'll put myself on tape, I'll do whatever it takes, I don't care. Even for Shameless, like mm. they said no initially, no, they think you're too like Upper East Side, they want like real like hood girl. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, who says I don't have that in me? I can do that. Mm -hmm. I'm more comfortable having to prove myself. So take every no as just one more foot closer to yes.